He had a full-time valet at Harvard. He had an alligator that he took on a leash into class with him. He was hyper-competitive. So over the top. He was one of the richest men on earth, but he had always been in debt. In the 1920s, first power is extreme. He would force presidents and heads of state to deal with him as if he was like a secretary of state. Hearst totally changed the nature of the newspaper. He brought the marketing, the hype, the sensationalism. Previously, newspapers were dull as dishwater. For Hearst, news was not reporting the facts. News was creating history. He would tell his reporters, visualize the news before you write it. And he was pretty shameless about it. Hearst was a true revolutionary. He'd get a story, run it in the newspapers, tell it over the radio, and turn it into a moving picture. He understands that a multifaceted media empire has enormous power. Citizen Kane was definitely based on Hearst's life, but fabricated many things. In a way, that's not an unfair description of Hearst's journalism. He influenced our whole American way of life, how we digest culture, how we engage with political views. He invents the world that, for better or worse, we now inhabit.